Welcome. So here's my lovely formula that I'm going to try to spend some time and, and kind of talk to you where you know exactly did this come from. Because so far, what we've really looked at is when we're talking about slope, the really the only thing I want to talk to you about is about the change in our y coordinates over the change in our x coordinates, right? How do those two values change? And we looked at this in a couple different ways. We looked at this as far as a table. We looked at this as far as a graph. And we looked at this as far as two points, 5, 4, and let's just do 3, 2. Okay? So, and it doesn't really matter. Either way, what we can do is we can always apply this slope formula. Because when I say what is the change in something, I want to know what is the difference between those two values. So let's say, um, for instance, I make $100 working this week. All right? I'm selling something, and I make $100. Well, the next week, so that's week one. And then in week two, I make $150, right? So you could say, and if I say, what is the change from how much I made in week one to how much I made in week two? Well, you can say the change is $50, right? You increased the amount of money you made by $50. But to formally do that, I can just say 150 minus 100, right? That was how much money, that was the difference, because 150 minus 100 equals 50. Now, we could also look at this. Well, how long? what was the change in the time period? Well, we know well, week one to week two. That just means one week went by. And we can represent that by 2 minus 1, which equals 1. So when we want to find the change in something, we're going to be subtracting the values. Now, it comes up to us and saying, you know, what does, um, why do we use y2, y1, x2, x1, and so forth? And let's just kind of take a look. I'll just, uh, Pick some, um, some values here, 0, um, 1. Okay. So when we're looking at coordinate points, all right, and let's say I have some value. We know these are all x values, right? But they're different x values. So I can label them as like an x1, an x2, an x3. So therefore, this would be y1 y2, and y3. And remember, when we were finding the slope of our, our, our table, it didn't matter what two points I picked, as long as I was finding the change between those two values for your x's and the y's, and it was consistent. When I look at a graph, we know that coordinate points always have an x and a y coordinate. However, if I just label these as x and y, then they're going to be exactly the same. And they're not the same. You can look at these and say, these two points are not the same. So labeling them both x and y cannot be correct because, yes, they are x and y coordinates, but they're not exactly the same x and y coordinates. So to distinguish them, we'll use little subscripts. And it doesn't matter really how you want to do it. You could use you know, letters for your subscripts, any way that we can differentiate between the two. And the same thing when I have coordinate points. I know this is x, y, and this is x, y. But for our formula, we like to use x1, x2, and y1, y2. So all I'm really doing when I'm finding the change is I'm going back to doing uh, what I showed over here. I'm finding the change in those values by subtraction. And remember, it goes back to find the change in the y. How do you find the change in the y? You find your two y values, and you subtract them. Then how do you find the change in the x? You find your two x values, and you find the change between them by subtracting. And the important thing to notice about this, which a lot of students will make a mistake on, is notice I'm subtracting in the same manner. It's y2 minus y1, x2 minus y, x1. It doesn't matter what is x1 and what is x2, but you need to make sure you're consistent. Subtracting this point from this point, or this point from this point, here to here, or here to here. It doesn't matter which way. You just need to make sure you're consistent. So there, ladies and gentlemen, that's your slope formula. Now I'll get into some examples. Thanks.